Dear friends, I want to wish you the very best of luck for the launch of your PROTECT project in UCD today. This project promises to be very relevant for the future of European food security and the sustainability of our agri-food sector. The work that you do will be absolutely vital to help establish a better understanding of the effects of climate change on food safety. And this is important because our agri-food sector is faced with an extraordinary set of challenges. It will need to increase its agricultural output to meet the needs of the world's growing population, which will exceed 9 billion people by 2050. It has to make a significant contribution towards Europe's ambitious targets for greenhouse gas emissions reduction, and it is faced with rising public expectations in relation to the safety, quality, value, traceability and diversity of food. So this requires us to do more with less, to increase production while also becoming smarter, greener and cleaner. The reality is that there is also a growing risk to the safety and security of our food supply due to the effects of climate change. In fact, climate change has been identified by the Emerging Risk Unit of the European Food Safety Authority as a driving force for emerging risks in food safety in the medium to long term. And we saw this in practice last summer when severe drought was experienced in many EU countries. So therefore, improving our understanding of the effects of climate change on food safety and the transmission of this knowledge to producers in the field will be vital to the future success of our agri-food sector into the future. This is why your project is a most welcome development. PROTECT will help to train a new generation of researchers on a range of predictive modelling tools in order to evaluate the effects of climate change on food safety. The awarding of over €2 million Euro in Horizon 2020 funding is evidence of the potential that we see in the European Commission in your project. International collaboration is of major strategic importance to the Commission because we will only find global solutions to global problems by working together across borders and across policy areas. So let me commend UCD for taking a lead in this international collaboration with many other partner institutions from across the European Union. It is evidence of UCD's standing as a global leader in research in this field. The presence of numerous businesses in the consortium, as well as the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, ensures that the outputs of the research are relevant to both industry and to producers in the field. It will also give the participating researchers strong exposure to engagement with industry, which will stand them in future research projects. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, PROTECT is a wonderful example of a pioneering approach to research and training, which we need to see more of in Europe. So let me congratulate Dr Enda Cummins and the team on the launch of PROTECT, and let me take the opportunity to wish you again the best of luck, and I look forward to hearing about your successes as the project progresses. Thank you.